Is there an agenda by someone that's promoting the homosexual lifestyle? They're lying to you, and what they're doing is they're pushing you into rebellion against God and further in, into further enslavement. Gays have, and lesbians have more rights than they've ever had. Yeah. They're not any happier. There is a movement, a political movement, a new world order. It's a sick, twisted agenda, and we wonder why our country is in the mess that it's yeah. in. They're casting that spell of demonic influence on young kids. I know a lot of gay men who have gone into Satanism. The fact someone's in a homosexual lifestyle, attracted to men, actively doing it, are they demon-possessed or demon-oppressed? Is there a demon of homosexuality? I believe there is, and I believe there is a lot of influence. Uh, I think when you open those, those doorways from being promiscuous, okay. drugs, the alcohol, the okay. occult, and I got involved in the occult, the New Age, and Hinduism, and so I opened myself up to a lot of doctrines of demons already, okay. not to mention the life that I was leading. So I think I was just infused with demonic activity or just okay. had a lot of... So, so, so the answer is yes, you mm -hmm. believe that. No, okay. So, yeah. Can demons be cast out of a homosexual, meaning if they're willing to say, I, I, I'm addicted, I'm, I'm in the, I don't want to be, but I can't stop. Can a person be prayed for and demons be cast out of that person? Absolutely. So you believe that if Jesus was walking the face of the earth today as a man, he would encounter these demons mm -hmm. and he would cast them out. Mm -hmm. Praise God mm -hmm. on that. Is there an agenda by someone that's promoting the homosexual lifestyle through, you know where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that's true? Absolutely. I believe in the New World Order agenda, the satanic okay. agenda. Yeah. And this is part of why I am so passionate about trying to reach LGBT individuals to tell them we have been lied to and we are being played. Okay. They don't care about our happiness. We have more, I'm gonna throw myself in, identify with them sure. for this moment. Yeah. Because my identity is in Christ and right. I wanna make sure that's clear. Right. Gays have, and lesbians have more rights than they've ever had. Yeah. They're not any happier. At what point are we as a community or are you as a community going to find this peace that you're looking for? They're, even the Christian liberal theologians who are telling you it's okay, it is not okay. They're lying to you. And what they're doing is they're pushing you into rebellion against God and further in, into further enslavement. They think they're doing the right thing by being nice and we're just, you know, accept everybody where they are. It's in rebellion against God, and it, you can't, they cannot make a case for it in God's Word. Mm -hmm. I slip the gospel in there and the plan of salvation, and then I take all of the talking points of the gay rights activists, including the Christian liberal theologians, mm -hmm. and I debunk them with Scripture. Mm -hmm. And Christians need to know that if you can figure out what the talking points are, because they'll use those to shut you down, mm -hmm. you can lovingly say, well, let me show you what Scripture has to say, and you can counteract that and help them. It may be hard at first because we are programmed for so long to believe that the, the Christians are just narrow-minded right. and they need to move with the times. Well, right. God has never changed. Right. He's the same yesterday and today and tomorrow. A Amen. So, in other words, there is a movement, a political movement, a new world order mm -hmm. for sake of identification mm -hmm. that's behind this, that's promoting it, that wants it to grow. Okay? Now, it's promoted through television through I mean Music, like Disney media, mm -hmm. like Disney, Disney. Mm -hmm. you know it's supposed to be quote family mm -hmm. are you kidding me mm -hmm. okay um, there's an agenda what is the agenda why are they doing this for me the way that I see it through yeah. spiritual eyes you have feminism which is usurping the role of the father and the man in the home you have the family unit being broken down you have people Satan is trying to use an agenda to get people to not worship God because that's what we are put here to do. Okay. He And so if you have homosexuals who are not procreating, then you can no longer create new beings to worship God. It's all it, so mixed up yeah. and it's it has been turned upside down. Right. Yes. It's a it's a sick twisted agenda and we wonder why our country is in the mess that it's yeah. in.
You're so right. And also, of course, it destroys the structure of the family. There's no more uh, man. There's no more woman. Mm -hmm. And so that is destroyed. And so the children are all affected. So from generation to generation, if the Lord doesn't come back in 50 years, it's going to be a mess. And can I say this? Yeah. What really irritates me about parents is that they don't really take the time to find out what their kids are learning in school. Right. If you knew the agenda of what's being pushed in the school, you'd be mortified. Parents won't get involved on the school boards. They won't try. Christians won't get off their rear ends and go vote. A lot of this insanity could be stopped if Christians got up right. and tried to arm themselves with information and got out and vote and got on the school boards that could stop this. But I want to make this point. The transgender thing that really irks me about this is when I was a kid, yes, I was attracted to boys, but I had a period where I would dress up in my mom's clothes or I'd put on her high heels. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I wanted to be a girl because I right. thought, well, if I'm a girl, then God will be okay with it so I can be with a man. Right. In today's culture, I would, as a child, think, well, I'm going to go get the surgery. And parents who basically have almost had their whole rights stripped away, and that's what the activists are trying to do. Right. I would have regretted it. And there are so many ex-transgender people, Christian and non-Christian, who on YouTube will tell you it did not change their life and they regret having gone through the transition. Mm -hmm. And if parents don't understand the agenda of going after your children to confuse their minds now, you must fight for them. And parents need to talk about this. You need to go to your pastors and say, we want to get people like Amen. me, you, whoever it is, to address this issue, Amen. to give them information. Because when you're armed with information, you have the power to, to do better and to hopefully help people. A Amen. Amen. And George, We're in a fight for our lives. Uh, oh, we are. And people don't understand. You know, I, And I talk about this. Parents are brain dead. And a lot of Christian parents are brain dead. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that to be insulting, folks. I'm saying it to wake people up. Yeah. Okay, you've got to wake up. You can't just go to church Sunday morning, spend an hour in church, mm -hmm. go home, and think that God thinks that everything is okay. Mm -hmm. It's not. We have to be proactive. I said that was my last question. It's not mm -hmm. a lot. Okay. <laughs> George, I believe, because I, 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 I've been... Um, talking about uh, witches and about warlocks and demonic influence, mm -hmm. okay? I believe that as we speak right now, and actually 24-7 throughout the world, there are uh, Satanists that are casting spells. And when I say casting spells, I don't mean this, you know, television kind of casting spells. I mean serious stuff, folks, mm -hmm. that they're casting that spell of demonic influence on young kids of the 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 the, the spirit of of same sex attraction the spirit of sexual perversion do you believe that absolutely i know a lot of gay men who have gone into satanism and it's a very perverted twisted world it's sick and i know I, even with my involvement with the occult and new age stuff people i know who are wiccan who cast spells? It's happening, and and I don't know why. Why aren't, aren't churches? Why is not the Christian community dealing with this? I mean, look, when Jesus walked the face of the earth, wasn't the one of the things he did? George was cast out demons. Mm -hmm. Besides, heal sick people, and aren't we? I'm sorry, but he said greater things you'll do than I. And aren't we supposed to walk like Christ, talk like Christ? Well, a lot of Christians have this attitude of, well, what does it matter? God's going to take care of it anyway. It's going to end soon. And they have this, there's this apathy with them. Well, what if Jesus had sat on his rear end and didn't get up and try to help people and, and cast demons out of people and to heal people? He didn't sit on his rear end all the way up until he was crucified. Amen. What gives us the right to do that? Why aren't Christians waking up? I don't mean to be crude. I'm sorry. No, just, no you're not being crude. You're, you're being truthful. But Jesus did it to the end. He worked. And we can't give up. I don't care how tired we are. And I get so tired and discouraged at times. Right. But we must keep going because Jesus never gave up. And we can't give up. Right. Because people are dying and going to hell. We've yeah. got to get the truth to them. See, what we're dealing with now is confusion in the Christian community. The, They've been we've been uh, sold this this um, doctrine of love, mm -hmm. but it's the wrong kind of love. Mm -hmm. It's tolerance. Now, there's a difference between compassion 
and tolerance. Compassion is when you come to someone with a heart of, I love you, I want the best for you, I'm broken like you are, that's mm -hmm. compassion. Mm -hmm. Tolerance is, I know you're doing something wrong and I'm just gonna tolerate it because it's politically correct mm -hmm. and nobody's talking about it. Mm -hmm. That's wrong, isn't it? Right, We're yeah, not. To, Jesus would not tolerate no. things. He told the, the woman caught in adultery, go and sin no more. Sin no more, in other words, stop it. Right. You're not going to be, I'm not gonna deal with you because you've been forgiven, mm -hmm. but stop, stop. Pedophilia in the homosexual world of homosexuality. George, this is what's kind of weird, and this is why I know it's a spiritual thing. It's of Satan, definitely, and it's being pushed by, a, 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 as you said, a one world, it's a one world agenda. You can have a man, and we talked about this earlier, and he's 20 years old, and, he, and he, he's with a 10-year-old a, a girl, uh, molest a 10-year-old girl, and it is horrific. They will tar and feather this person. Mm -hmm. But then you take that same man that's 20 years old, and he molests a 10-year-old boy. It's different. Mm -hmm. But it's the same way with men who molest little girls. They are just, I mean, the people lose their minds. But let a female adult woman have sex with an underage male. And males will even say, oh, well, he, he yeah, got it's, lucky. It's, not it's a, like, how would you feel if your, if your son was raped by an, an adult female? Exactly. But they excuse that behavior. This is why I know that Satan has his fingers, not only his fingers in the pie, his whole hand is in the pie. Mm -hmm. Because... You've got confusion going on. Folks, it's all the same. Mm -hmm. we got to stop this stuff. You know, when you hear about priests molesting little boys, it's a terrible thing. But you hear about some guy that's the same age as the priest molesting a little girl. That's a terrible, terrible thing. Mm -hmm. People have to understand it's all... There's no difference. There's no difference. Right. George, thank you so much. You're and uh, tell everybody how they can get in touch with you, your website. My website is www.georgecarneal.com. You'll find a lot of information there. Yeah, and I want to encourage you. This is George's new book, uh, Queer for Christ. And uh, you've got to read this book. I mean, he talks about things, folks, that... <laughs> that most people uh, either are not enlightened to talk about or they're afraid to talk about. But George is doing it. Really help him, support him. Um, go to lastevangelist.com and support this ministry. Uh, I think you know we're making the Last Evangelist TV series. And by the way, uh, George, uh, God has really laid on my heart to deal with this issue in one of the episodes of Last Evangelist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Really, homosexuality? Uh, absolutely. Oh, great. Because why? Because it, it needs, needs to be talked about. Absolutely. Look, all I'm doing with Last Evangelist is picking up where pastors leave off. Yeah. And I've asked God to let me do that, and so far he's let me do it. So I thank you for being here. I thank you for your heart and for sharing.